Hello students, welcome to volume 2 of chapter 2nd People as Resource. In this volume, I am going to discuss about economic activity by men and women. Children, the question is what is economic activity? I have already explained that any human activity that bring income for the family, for the society, for the nation is known as economic activity because they increases our income. So there are many types of economic activity observed in our society. We used to see that many people they do agricultural work. Some of them they used to do another, you know, you can say fishing, forestry, animal husbandry, so many works. And some people they used to go in factories, they used to work in industrial sector as a mechanic, as administrative worker. And some people they used to do services, they used to transport things from one place to another. They, they used to perform their services for society in the sector of either education, medical sector or any other sector. So on behalf of these things, we can easily, you know, divide economic activities in three parts. The very first one is primary sector. Children, in primary sector, we used to do many economic activities such as agriculture, we used to raise crop, we used to cultivate and we used to harvest them and sell, sell the surplus. Forestry, in forestry we used to do, you know, we used to transport or we used to use forest products. Then we used to perform fishing. Along with this, we used to do animal husbandry, means the rearing of animals. Along with this, many people are engaged in mining activities such as coal mines, gold mines and various other types of mines. So, another thing is quarrying which is related to manufacturing activities that is production activity. And most of them used to perform poultry farming. Poultry farming means here we used to, you know, here you can say chicks and along that we used to raise them and we used to, you know, help them to grow so that they give high yield. So all such activities which are related to natural activities, natural products which are produced on the earth and we used to deal with this thing that is called primary activities. So along with this being a student of class 9 this is sufficient for you and in higher classes you will go in detail. Another activity is secondary activity in which manufacturing is done. In these activities natural products are converted into various items which is useful to us. For example natural products like wood that comes from forest trees and we used to cut them, we used to make plants and make, you know, desk and benches for the students. This is manufacturing work because it has been converted into a workshop or industry by mechanics or another people. So it became a secondary sector, means here manufacturing is done, here, you know, conversion has taken place and that has been used after converting into another thing because we could not use wood directly but due to technology and various you know we skilled humans we can make a manufacturing work we have got extraction of various metals but that metal is cannot be used directly until we convert them into machinery parts we convert them into tools or we convert them into various other equipments then it becomes a useful thing for us 
it means secondary sector is that human activity that perform you know natural products and make it make a processing on it and after processing they become useful to us so along with this we have got another sector tertiary sector this is the most important sector and its you know contribution to national income is large what is this so when we tertiary activities we don't use to do any type of <coughs> natural processing or we don't do any manufacturing but we deal with manufactured products we used to do a trade means we used to transport it into market so that it is sold and it reaches to consumers so our tertiary sector in the tertiary sector we do trade we perform transport activities means we used to displace uh, an object from one place to another another is communication that is what communication we are doing via internet that is you can say communication technology has been used in in this sector it sector many people millions of people are involved so they are the part of tertiary sectors then we used to earn money and save them and used to deposit in a particular institution that is known as bank that is banking many people are engaged in banking activities so children banking is a tertiary activity around with education means children used to go to school and get education around with this health care medical facilities hospitals are available and people who are sick or who are diseased they used to get proper treatment this is also a tertiary activities because here service is provided and in tourism many tourists used to come and they used to gain knowledge and used to visit and view historical things or you can say old things ancient things that they had studied in books and they used to directly view and in this case tourism has become a very promising sector for national economy then services most of the people used to perform government services many people are engaged in private services so services is also a tertiary sector then insurance you know right now government is providing many types of insurance to the farmers farmers are getting crop insurance they are getting life insurance and many other things so insurance has become very important thing accidental insurance bike insurance four wheeler insurance it is a service sector that's why grocery activities has become very important so then i want to discuss some more terms market activity and non market activity that is you know discussed in the chapter market activities means those finished products which is sold in the market to consumer for profit or payment that is market activity along with this non market activities means all processing all natural processing in factories manufacturing and other things they falls in the category of non market activities then in this chapter we have a division of labor between men and women children as you know men and women have a lot of division in their labor women are directly involved in domestic work while men they used to perform outdoor activities they have to do field work and they have to do heavy work that's why labor has been divided into categories so it is very important for the formation of human capital because they are very important for you know human activities along with national development children to improve the quality of population an institution or government organ they should take care about people's different aspects these aspects are education and health education and health these two things 
then it has the quality of a person. How education helps? Children, you have studied the story in previous video that Sakar, his father got education loan and he admitted his child in vocational course and that boy became a computer engineer. Finally, he was absorbed by a you know, electronic firm and he developed a advanced software. That software is used still now in various countries, even in India. So, this man brought profit for the firm. What happened? Once profit was brought, means the owner of that firm, he became happy and it increased his salary. From where it came? It came from education. Children, his father, he was very intelligent, intelligent person. He made investment in education. That's why Sakal was able to increase his value, his quality and he became a skilled worker, became a trained worker and he developed his software by means of education. On the other hand, Vilas, his mother was fish seller. Vilas could not get admission because his mother was suffering from arthritis. She had, you know, you know, money problem. Her mother was less educated. She could not admit his child in the school, her child in the school. So what happened? Vilas could not read and write. He became only a fish seller and his earning became constant forever. It means this man became poor for throughout life. When they met at a particular instant, what happened? They found that both people had different lifestyle. Vilas, he was appearing a rich person. Sorry, Sakal was appearing a rich person while Vilas remained poorer and poorer. You know, Vilas could not recognize his friend. And on the other hand, Sakal, being so confident, being so wealthy and being so healthy, he, he found that this man could not increase his life values. So, child children, education is a very important sector that increases the values and quality of a person. Along with this, we have got another point that is health. Children, suppose you are a talented student. You are meritorious to talk CBSC board. But you are suffering from bone cancer or you are suffering from various incurable disease which is so costly to be treated that you cannot, your father cannot afford or you are helpless. So what happened? You are highly educated, you are trained, you are skilled but still you are unable to show your talent because you are unhealthy. Your health is poor. It means health is very important sector, very important factor for the development of economy of a country. A healthy human resource can become a healthy export. He can show his talent and his skill. He has agility. He can do his work quickly with full enthusiasm, with full force. Along with that, he has best, you can say, confidence. His mind is sound and he can develop many important things for the society. So health is very important. For giving a good health, government is taking you know, interest and they are, have developed various types of sectors. Medical facilities are available in every villages. Primary health centers, you can say district hospitals, along with this government dispensaries, they are installed in the you can say village area, even in town area or in district level or at capital level. So that people get free treatment. Government is giving insurance, medical insurance, so that every human capital will become healthy or our nation income increase rapidly. Children, health is very important sector and if we you know you can say focus on health and focus on education then we can become a human capital, we can become a rich human resource, we can develop our skill, we can develop our talent and we can develop our brain. Along with that, we can increase per capita income of the society. How? 
children however many peoples they are unhealthy however many peoples are less educated but if 50% or more than people are healthy and educated then they can become helpful to them they can help them and bring you know and you know do innovative work and they can perform you can say various economic activities and all these people benefit it government will bring subsidy for them so that they are able to you know purchase them everybody can become a part of national income by increasing economic activities being highly educated and healthy children but india is a diverse country you know in our country there are many types of people who are suffering from unemployment what kind of unemployment it is seasonal unemployment and disguised unemployment children our country the you know largest part of the sector is primary sector in which more than 70% people or 60% people they are involved in primary sector and they are suffering from this unemployment seasonal unemployment is experienced in rural area as well as in urban area shahar mein bhi aur gaon mein bhi dono area mein seasonal problem hai seasonal unemployment because in you can say if you go in rural area at the time of sowing and harvesting people are engaged at the labor and when this activity is over then they become unemployed so what happened means only four months they are employed and remaining how many months eight months they are unemployed this is a kind of unemployment then we have got another term disguised unemployment that is very important unemployment <coughs> let us consider a family of six members all these people are of different ages mother father two children and a adult person along with another small kid what will happen they have to have their piece of land and all these people they are engaged in agricultural activities suppose two person of this family they went outside means they went in town area and started doing manufacturing work or any other work and they brought surplus income so what happened you know the production activity was remained unaffected it means disguised unemployment are you know experienced here means such type of people however they are working in their agricultural activities but still they declare themselves that they are unemployed they are you know, working in two hectare piece of land they are growing crops and they are getting 40 quintal wheat from two hectares per year still they are telling that they are unemployed this is called disguised unemployment and such things they are you can say observed in our society and this is a major challenge for us and that's why we have to you know consider quality of population means education and health should be enhanced it should be you can say raised and everybody should be given quality education and good quality health okay thank you very much go through ncert course and read full chapter to you know understand the remaining parts okay thank you